Hi, my name is Brian Evelich from Faith and Fire Forge in Connecticut. I had the privilege to be on Forge and Fire in 2019 and uh, started my own business where I make custom knives, but more importantly, I train and equip young people on how to forge and knife make. These are some of the blades I have available here at Blade Show 2021. Uh, we'll start over here. Uh, this is a raindrop pattern, 120 layer Damascus, 1095 and 15N20 steel. I make all my own Damascus because it's an art form in itself. Uh, this is a shark tooth pattern. I've kind of fallen in love with shark tooth pattern. And the handle on this one is actually, uh, let's see, it's not Coca-Bola. I'm actually not sure what that one is. This one's kind of neat. Uh, it's a Tonto style blade. The handle is made of a bowling ball. Wow. Re recovered from a collapsed bowling alley. That's original though, well, yeah. Yeah, and it's super acrylic. It's much more durable even than some of the more modern products we have out Absolutely. there. Um, this shark tooth, I finally have found the sweet spot to put an extra nickel layer okay. so that you get a more defined jawline down on the bottom of the, the edge nice. itself. So it gives you a defined shark's pattern. Um, this I is, noticed that all the sheaths seem to be somewhat color coordinated. Yeah, I hand sew my own sheaths for my Damascus blades, and then I try to match the different hues in the pattern. Absolutely. Uh, this one here has two tones just because there's two different grain colors, so I try to capture that. Absolutely. I saw this blade being almost like a fruit and cheese cutting knife, so I picked the handle material to look like a marble cutting board. I thought it added to it. Again, an original thought. I haven't heard of anybody doing that yet. And you'll notice in the blade, in the handles, my uh, I have a mosaic pin with my shop mark. Uh, being an ordained minister, I actually have my maker's mark is the tomb with the stone rolled back nice. and the cross of Christ behind it. That is so gorgeous. This is my first production knife. I make these in mass for deer hunters. Okay. And it's been designed very specifically so that if you run your fingers up one finger bump, you can put your index finger over the tip and work inside a deer okay. without running the risk of perforating. And also to skin, you can bring your thumb to the tip instead of on the spine, All right. which gives a lot more control. You said this is a mass-produced thing that we can reach out and get? Yeah. I yeah. can see that as a, as a possible gift for one of my good friends. Yeah, and if Father's Day is coming up, if your dad hunts, I think it's a great option. These are normally 220, uh, 250. I got them 225 here at Blade. They come with a leather sheath or a Kydex sheath, depending on your preference. This was a cool project. I trained a young man who recently won an episode of Forged in Fire. Just give it to me. And while we were working in the shop, I would do round one challenges with him. This was a three-hour challenge to do a five-layer Go My uh, billet. And the outer layer is a chain link from the museum ship Amistad in New Haven Harbor that wow. brought slaves over. So uh, it's wrought iron, 15N20, 1095, and then 15N20 and wrought iron again. And it gives a really kind of grungy look to it's the outside of the blade. Very the, original. This is a replica from Rambo Last Blood, the first knife okay. in the movie, the Mark Eight. It was kind of a dare from my son. And uh, these are, you know, th this one's got a twin over there, but this one has a clip point instead of a uh, drop point. Okay. And it's also a uh, shark tooth pattern. You find something you like and you tend to make more yeah, of that. Yeah, I get it, absolutely. This pattern is something I was playing with. I'm not sure how it'll show on interview. It's showing good. Uh, I call it Yankee Stadium infield. Okay. If you look at the grass when they fresh cut it in a ballpark, I it's got that, that checker really pattern. pattern. Yeah, I can see the checker pattern. So that's something just a little different. And I don't normally make low layer count, but I had one piece of 12 layer left. So I made this and it struck me to look like Nemo from the Disney movie, Finding Nemo. I just love it. I like the space in the Damascus. So and I, the handle is made out the, of... The handle is Kieranite, but I picked it because it looks like coral. To go Absolutely. with that finding. Well, we got an interview with the Kieranite people, so we love that. We love it. Yeah, so I thought it tied that Finding Nemo theme together to do like a coral reef kind of handle design on it. There you go. I've got a ton more stuff, yeah. but I find people can choose one out of ten, but not one out of a hundred. Yes. So I keep just some stuff out on the table. But all of my stuff is available on my website, faithandfireforge.com. Okay. All one word. No caps, faithandfireforge.com spelled out. Also have a Facebook page, 
at Faith and Fire Forge where I put all my stuff up. There's actually a video of what's left for people that might have Father's Day wishes. They can come and look online, message, comment, or you can call 203-578-5480 and uh, order one of these or a custom piece. Well, thank you so much. This was definitely not a dull moment. We appreciate you. Hey. Good luck here at Blade Show. Thanks for your time. And God bless you. God bless you.